Greetings everyone, welcome back to the Sig Snob and welcome back to my snob bench. As promised, I'm going to begin the process of reloading. Huge disclaimer, this is the way I reload. You will reload differently. I take no responsibility for how you make your rounds um, and take great care in making your rounds as well. But I promised I'd walk through each step of what I do. There's so many different ways to reload, so much, so much different equipment. So choose what you want. Look at other videos, look at what other people do. Talk to people who reload, get in that community and find out what they're doing. So um, all that said, I actually showed you the tumbler earlier in an earlier video. You can refer to that if you wish, but I'm walk through the process. These are the rounds, the nine millimeter rounds, which we shot from our SIG P210 carry in our introduction. Um, these are straight off uh, the, the uh, ground of the range. Uh, they have a um, spent primer within them. This is obviously a spent casing as well. They're dirty. They need to be cleaned. So the first step after you've collected your brass from the round, always collect your brass at the rounds, at the range, is uh, we are going to move to our tumbler for the cleaning of the brass. And as I spoke of before, um, I used basically a, a very simple Hornady um, vibration tumbler and I leave it in there for a couple hours and uh, it works really well. Um, there, there's other ways you can uh, clean your brass. People use a liquid solvent. You can make them as shiny as you want, but you know what? Get them pretty clean, they'll shoot pretty well. So um, about this walnut media, if you can see it in here, um, it is simply just that, it's brown walnut shells and it has a treatment on it. The treatment I use is just a mixture, it sounds odd, but it is a mixture of car polish, just your basic car polish, and uh, alcohol, probably alcohol. And what that does is that just gives that walnut media a little bit of density and a little bit of coating. So when you put this brass in, uh, that helps in that process of cleaning. And I, I believe it preserves the media for a while as well. I've used media for uh, one batch of walnut media for up to a year and it still works very well. Also, what I'm going to add to this concoction um, is one quarter, and let's make it a, uh, yeah, let's make it a one quarter sheet of, of dryer sheet. This is stuff you, that you throw in your dryer to make your clothes smell nice and fresh. And this will make your rounds smell, no, this will, see how clean this is? Because when we pull this off, when we're done, we'll examine the sheet and you'll see the dirt that will come off uh, of these round, of this brass. So they're not round yet. Um, so uh, simply, that's simply the process of cleaning to this point. Uh, afterwards, I'll talk about what, what I do with the rounds. Um, from there, I will uh, lay them back out on the mat with a towel. I'll treat them with a, um, a, a casing treatment, which just lubricates the casing. It's a 20 to one Lanlin uh, using 91% alcohol. It's just a little spray bottle we put together and uh, which will, puts a nice little coat for when we're doing the process of running these shells through shaping and reshaping and, and uh, loading and all that process. Okay, so here we go. This is simply it. I've got about a hundred rounds of uh, nine millimeter brass here from the range. I'm gonna drop them in if they don't fall on the floor first. Uh, and fall off my bench. Drop them in just various ways. No simple, no basic way to do that. Uh, again, into the walnut media, media, get that done. And then just throw that little piece of uh, dryer fabric softener, this one, in there. And then I'm gonna put the top back on to the tumbler. Uh, comes with a nice little washer, wing nut, and put that bad boy back on. You can tighten it down, not too much. But you can see this is suspended in, on springs and for that purpose. And once that's in place, I'm gonna hit that switch and uh, let, that, let that guy go for yeah, at least a couple of hours. I have left them overnight for getting there out in the garage and uh, I've come out to some very shiny brass before. So first step in handling your brass for the reloading process. 
that's it from the six knob and uh, from here we're going to go up to the range and we are going to look at the sig p229 today in 40 um, caliber uh, capacity and we're going to look at that i'm going to introduce uh, that we're going to shoot some rounds and then we're going to go to the next process of reloading okay that's it for now let me turn this on so you can hear it too bad. I'm gonna get a like, see through the uh, plastic here. The rounds they will start to rotate and tumble through. And all that vibration with that media and against each other and uh, a little bit of uh, a dry cloth in there to knock all the all the, the excess off those off brass and other way to go. Okay, that's it for now and uh, we'll catch up to you uh, for another video today, so stay tuned.